First step is to download, extract, and install the Slipstream Mod Manager. So we'll do that by following the first link down in the description. It'll take us to the Subset Games Forum page. There's a download link there for the latest version at the time of this recording, version 1.9.1. .1. Click this link. It'll take a few seconds, and then the, the uh, download should start automatically. Don't bother clicking anything else once you get to that page. There's just ads everywhere. Uh, but the download should start automatically, and then at that point, you'll extract it to whatever folder you like, and that will give you this folder right here, which is the Slipstream Mod Manager folder. It contains both the application as well as the mods folder, which we'll be using later. We'll move on to step two here, which is to uh, check the allow underscore zip box in the preferences of the uh, application itself. So we'll just go ahead and double click that to run it. Yours won't look exactly like this, by the way. These two options at the bottom won't be there just yet until you, of course, download them yourself. Uh, but as, we, as mentioned, just go ahead and go to file preferences and check that box for allowing zip files. And uh, now we can move on to step three, which is to download hyperspace. Go ahead and follow that second link down in the description below, which will take you to a page that looks like this. Follow either the Google Drive or Mediafire link to download Hyperspace, which give you another zip, uh, another zip file, which you'll want to uh, extract into your actual FTL folder in the uh, you know Steam, Steam apps, Common, the, the whole program files uh, directory that you've had to navigate oh so many times for these kinds of things, I'm sure. But uh, anyway, yeah, you'll want to put the uh, download for hyperspace in here, and you'll also want to extract the files in this particular folder uh, into this folder here. So the files specifically that are in this folder, you, you know, they're not in here, of course, anymore for me, uh, but I'll outline them for you here. Those three files are going to be the downgrade batch file, which we'll be interacting with in the next step along with the hyperspace.dll file and the xinput1 underscore 4.dll file. You won't have to worry about what, the, what files they are specifically. All you'll have to worry about is just grabbing everything that's in that folder once you've got it and uh, putting all of that stuff into this folder. Easy peasy, just like that. Again, uh, as mentioned, next step is going to be the downgrade batch file. All you've got to do is double click and run that I'm not going to do it myself because I've already done so. But all that does is downgrade your uh, version of FTL, whatever you may be running, to I think it's 1.6. It's 1.6 something, uh, which is the version of FTL that they need to use the uh, multiverse mod. So that's all that does. It's a very quick process. It takes, I think, honestly, like five seconds to get done. And uh, yeah, that's step five. Next, we'll be moving the hyperspace.ftl file, which is another file that you'll find in this hyperspace folder right there. You'll want to move that, which apparently you can copy it. It's worked for me just having it in both places, so you can either copy or move it uh, over to the mods folder, which looks like this. The uh, hyperspace.ftl file can be found right there, and that will move us over to step seven which is finally to actually download the multiverse zip file. So that'll take us to this third link down in the description, which will bring you to this page. You may have ended up on this forum post uh, with uh, multiverse Google. That's often uh, how people or uh, what people first end up finding. It's a bit, it's a bit cluttered, but just for a bit of uh, clarity here, this is the section that you're looking for. This is where the download build link is located. But I went ahead and just uh, included the direct link because I figured that'd be a little bit simpler. Once you've downloaded that, you'll take that zip file. All you need to do is simply place that into the Slipstream Mod Manager Mods folder that we moved the hyperspace.ftl file into before. Uh, that is step eight. And then finally, steps nine and 10 are very, very simple. All you need to do at that point is reload Slipstream Mod Manager. You may need to close and reopen it at this point. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, but then you'll just want to make sure that Multiverse is underneath Hyperspace in this list. When I first booted this up, I was having some issues because it turned out I didn't realize that I, d I had this mod order incorrect. So you want to make sure that Hyperspace is listed above Multiverse in this mod order right here. And then finally, you just check these two boxes. Go ahead and hit that patch button. And that ought to get you going. And uh, hopefully this helps to clarify a few things uh, throughout this process 
of getting multiverse installed but yeah that should do it and there we go multiverse up and operational thanks for watching hope this uh helps you out and uh honestly i probably won't be able to answer any of your questions <laughs> about this but uh best of luck to you all the same and uh, have fun playing multiverse